We're going to review how to make changes to the blog posts which appear on your Learn page through a feed. When you log into the back end of your website, you will land on this dashboard page. From here, because we're making or reviewing how to create new blog posts that appear on the Learn page, we want to navigate to posts. And if you click on the word posts and then click on all posts, you'll get to uh, this page. And this page will be where you can see every single blog post you've created. So as of right now, you have only three. Um, I want to review an existing blog post to show you the elements that are needed. So if I click on this one, um, I'm going to be able to see the words edit live builder. Go ahead and click on edit. And from here, you can see that every blog post has a title, which is the section up here. Every blog post has this main container, which is essentially all the words for the blog post. It looks like a picture was included as well. So these are, this is like the body of the blog post. And then you have to remember that we are categorizing blog posts. So the current categories appear here. So it's either Cannabis 101, Cana Culture, etc. So you want to make sure that you click a category when you create a new blog post. And then there's a featured image. So if I click on this featured image, you can see that this image has a particular size. So this image was 2560 by 1708. So if you want to make a future blog post, you know that you can size it to this 2560 by 1708. So that would be the featured image size. So to review, every blog post has a title, which you will include up here. The body of the blog post lives here. You pick a category, you upload a featured image, and those are the four sections that make up a blog post. I'm going to go ahead and go back to posts. And then from here, I can show you if you want to make an edit to an existing post, it's in the view that we were just in. So again, you would hit edit, you would make the necessary changes, whether you are changing, for example, the title, or if you're making a change to the image, you can make those changes here. If you want to make a change to the body of the blog post, you would make it in here. Let's just say you made a change to the body of the blog post. Let's just say you decided it was too long, you deleted a couple sentences. Whatever changes you make in order to incorporate those changes <clears throat> in the section, go ahead and click on save. Okay. If you accidentally made a change and you're like, oops, I messed up. I did not mean to do that. To discard the changes you made, you would just hit X or cancel. So the only way the changes would be implemented is if you actually clicked on the word save. Okay. Same thing here. If um, you wanted to change a category from cannabis, 101 to Puffin in the news, you could also just click this. It's important to know, as you see in this example, I just clicked on another category and now this blog post has two categories. So blog posts should have at least one category, but sometimes blog posts can span, you know, more than one category. Any changes that you make to an existing blog post, you need to click on update or update here to essentially save the master changes. So just because you change this um, title to whatever new title you made it, you, you would have to hit this blue update button, or if you scroll down here, this blue update button in order for those changes to Im be implemented to the page. Those are what we consider like a master change. So whatever you make, whether it's a title change, a category change, a featured image, make sure you hit this blue button up top or this blue button down here to implement the master changes. 
Same thing here. If you made a change to the main body of the blog post, you have to hit save and then hit update to implement those master changes. Okay. So that's how you make changes to an existing uh, blog post. I'm going to go back to posts. The other thing that's really cool is you can delete posts as well. And with a click of a button. So from here, you can just hover over whatever blog post you want to delete. And then there's a delete button, which is actually called trash. So you would just click trash and all of a sudden that would no longer be published. It would be in the trash. So it is very easy and quick to click trash to delete a blog post. Last but not least, I'm going to show you how to click or to add a new blog post. So from this view, go ahead and click on add new. Okay. Once a page loads, you'll see that there's the ability to add a title. So blog post example. This is where you would write the um, blog post content goes here. So you could copy and paste it from a Word document, a Google Doc, or you could just type it in here. And then from here, you want to make sure to pick a category and then to set a featured image. Um, you can either obviously use an existing image, but most likely not. So you would hit select files and then you could choose whatever image that you want. I'm just going to use like a headshot of someone, another client, just to show you that once the image uploads, you'll actually see the image. You'll set the featured image and it'll appear here. So let's just pr pretend this was like introducing new manager either okay okay and then you would write you know his bio more about who he is here you would hit um, one of these categories you would have his featured image and then you would hit publish and that would then automatically feed into the learn page and then that would again constitute a new blog post so i'm just going to hit publish just so that you can see what happens when i hit publish i'll delete this right away but once you hit update then you would see that it says post published. That would be the box that appears right here. And then you know that the post was published. And then if you go back here to posts, you would see that the new post lives here. And then you would just hit trash since that was obviously just an example. So now it sits here in the trash. So that is an overview of how to create a new blog post, how to edit an existing blog post, and how to trash a blog post.